I like sitting down and talking to people that have been here for a while and I'd like to hear their story about why they decided to come to Ecuador and particularly why did they decide to come here to Monta. I met with a really nice couple yesterday that's been here for four years. You're going to like their story, I think. There's one piece of the story that's really very interesting and thought-provoking, and I'm going to be curious to know if you catch it. I'm Don Shader, and when I come back, I'm going to show you the interview that I had with them. Hey! Hello there. So finally we got a chance to sit down and chat. So Thank fix you. your sleeve, please. You've got your sleeve all messed up there. Jesus. If you don't watch my videos in your shirt, in your office show. So okay. here we are. Jewel and Eugene. Yes. You guys have been here for a long time. How long have you been here? Uh, we've been here four years in April. Four years. Where four did years you come from? Well, we came here originally from the Washington, D.C., Maryland area. Okay. But we're originally, I'm originally from Mississippi. And I'm from Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. um, what made you decide to come to Ecuador? Well, we had considered a lot of places. Initially, we were going to go to the Virgin Islands, and we actually bought property there. That didn't happen. Uh, and then we had a family member that moved to Ecuador, and so we came to visit them. And we fell in love with them when we came to visit. And that sealed the deal. So when you came here, how long did you stay here? When you, so that was like an, that there was, was a visit and kind of like an explorer. It, it was at a visit. Correct. Correct. It, it okay. was, correct. 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 We that was in 2016. We were here for about two and a half weeks, to almost three weeks. Here in Monta. Here in Monta. Okay. And we left, and then the earthquake hit. So we were home about a week. We left five days, and five days after that, it was the earthquake, the major earthquake. Yeah. 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 But we still what did you knew we were coming. About that? What did you think? After you got back home, what did you think about the fact that you just missed? You could have been killed in this thing. We could have been killed. Yeah. Well, it was we were very startled. Yeah. Uh, and needless to say, we couldn't reach our family members uh, for a couple of days. I was in a panic. The lines were all tied up. We couldn't even get through. Uh, but it worked out. They finally called us after two days and let us know they were fine. Uh, and they were going to Quito because there was no power here yeah. at all. And, um, but the two and a half weeks we stayed, we enjoyed it. it. It was absolutely, the weather was great. Oh, man, we said, yeah, we can live here. Yeah. And that's what happened. So then after that happened, when you were back home, and that happened, did you start having second thoughts? I'll let you answer that, honey. Actually, no. We was already ready to go. We were all in. We didn't care. Yeah. We didn't care. And when we would mention to people that we were moving to Ecuador, it was like, didn't they just have an earthquake major, there? Major, major earthquake. earthquake and y'all are still going? We're like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we are. And See, I didn't even know about it. I didn't know they had this big earthquake there. It's huge. Yeah. I know all about it now. Yeah, there's a monument to the people that passed away somewhere. In, in Central. Yeah. Yeah. Down Central. near Central, Central. somewhere. But so, after you got back, and here, this happened here, you... What I, I always tell people about that that first step. Mm -hmm. You know, my first step was when I wrote the check to the Gringo Visa to okay. start the visa process. I thought, well, there's no turning back now because there's fifteen hundred bucks. It just mm -hmm. went to another country. What was your first step? What What was that that point that made you realize there was no turning back? We're going well. After we got all of them, because we got all of our documents together in the state and came down with all of our documents at the state. So we were really ready to go. Yeah. Our family member speaks fluent Spanish. Okay. So we didn't have to pay anything for our initial. Uh, this is pre-COVID now. Okay. So, you know, she could go in with us and try, she pulled, printed out all the paperwork for us and told us what we needed to do. We went and made copies of all the documents, you know, extra copies sure. that we were going to need. And uh, so that process was pretty easy and seamless because we didn't have to spend any money. But our first step in our mind was we were retired and we wanted to leave there. So it was time for us to go. There was no more work in the States that we were going to do. And we was at retirement age. You know? Yeah. So we were retired. We were retiring. That what was did it. you retire from? What industry, if I may ask? I retired from the federal government. 
Federal and, woman. And I retired from the, I worked in the legal profession. Okay. For many right. years. All right. So, Were you a paralegal? I was a paralegal at one point, but when I retired, I was a law firm administrator. Okay. Right. I managed up the D.C. office of a New York City law firm. That was probably easier than being a paralegal. Well. Yeah, probably less stress, right? No. My actually, sister was a paralegal and called her nuts. Well, paralegal work is very stressful. But no, yeah. this, <laughs> no this was more stressful because I'm dealing with, uh, I reported directly to the chairman of the board, okay. and so I had a lot of responsibilities, a lot of fiduciary responsibilities, so mm -hmm. yeah, it was stressful. And you're dealing with a bunch of attorneys, so yeah, very so, stressful. So, back to the original thought about coming to Ecuador, how did you pick Ecuador? I mean, you had friends that already were here. We did had, you look at other destinations? Yes, we did. Like I mentioned, the Virgin Islands, yeah. we considered um, Panama. 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 We kind of kicked around the idea of Belize, but our son actually chose Ecuador, and he came first with his family, and he had done a lot of research. Oh, so and we had, fam we had so, family So here. they were here. They came in 2014, and so when we came to visit them, we fell in love with them, so that we were like, that's it. And, yeah. What did you do with your house and all your stuff? We sold Sold house. everything. I had a business. I had we sold all of that stuff moved pretty quick um, i was really surprised within six months we were out of there everything we sold everything. <laughs> and uh, we cashed everything in we got out of town and it's so funny the night before we were leaving we had a going away party and the house was empty so everybody had to bring their own chairs <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were saying everybody had to stand no everybody had to pretty there. much so sit, on the floor. Floor. sit on the floor so yeah. everybody had to bring their own chairs and uh <laughs> I th we left that Sunday. I think the last thing we sold was my car. Yeah, we sold That's the car right. like that yeah. Monday before Monday or Tuesday before we left. Yeah. And uh, but it was stressful. And we were married in Barbados, and so I had to send the, the a marriage certificate the Bayesian Embassy to send to Barbados to get apostille. So mm -hmm. a couple of days before we were scheduled to leave, it hadn't returned. So I'm like, oh my God, you know, we can't leave without this. But it came like two days before we got ready. Just, 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 just in time. So let me ask you a question. And be honest, okay. okay? When you came here, mm. did you have any problem with culture shock? No, not at no. all. No. no. None at all? None at all. No. We had started studying Spanish before we left. Okay. So, uh, so no, we were. We were no. pretty much prepared, not yeah. at all. No. Yeah. I, I think I worked with a lot of Spanish speaking people in yeah. my industry, so I was pretty much geared up to go forward with it. Yeah. Um, you know, and we did a lot of studying on our own before we got here. But all the people I worked with was either from Central America. We even looked at some places in Central we America. Looked at too. Nicaragua. But Nicaragua had some problems. Yeah. So we yeah. said no. But since our son was already here, we looked at Ecuador and we said, this is the best place we can retire. The weather, the weather is the one that really Can't got us. The weather. Well, I did a video a month ago about why I picked Ecuador and it's kind of the same thing. Weather, healthcare, the American dollar, the right. cost of living. Right. Why not? Why not? Right. Why not? Right. What's right. not to like? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And four hours to the <laughs> States. From to Florida. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do now? What's your typical day like? Whatever we decide. What you, so whatever whatever we decide. I'm, lear what a, I'm learning how to uh, uh, play golf or have a better golf swing. How's yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I, my wife got me lessons years ago, but we've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to really get on the golf course. So, uh, are there um, any golf balls out there in the ocean? <laughs> No, but out there in the sand, there's a few oh, yeah. golf balls out there. Yeah, <laughs> out there, I could go out in the sand and hit them. There's yeah, nobody been, out there. He's been practicing. That's good. And uh, really, that's about it. I have helped uh, some fellow African Americans who have moved to Monta, mm -hmm. assisted them with finding uh, places to stay, and, and other people as well, not just African Americans. Yeah. Tell, tell the audience, there is an African American community here. We have. People have asked me. Yes, we do have a thriving African-American community here in Monta, also in Salinas, mm -hmm. also in Cuenca, also in Quito. Mm -hmm. So yes, we have a thriving community. The majority, I would say, are here in Monta. Right. Before I came here, I was listening to another YouTuber. This is back home. Mm -hmm. I was on a Zoom meeting with a bunch of Patreon supporters, you mm -hmm. know. 
for a couple that was here once upon a time. They're not here anymore. They live out over there in Visa. Right. JP and Bailey. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there was a gentleman <coughs> from Canada. He's African American, and he asked the crowd, "Are there any African American people in Ecuador?" He said he's going to be here in two weeks, and he asked us if there's going to be any, if there were any African American people, and I said there will be in about two weeks. And he, I, and I felt kind of, everybody laughed about it, thought it was funny, but then I got to thinking afterwards, I really don't know the answer to that because nobody talks about it. Right. You know? Right. Right. But it's just like LBGT, LBGT, right. are there, that is that group of yes. They no. are here. Yeah, they they are this here. It's not any different in any other country. They right. are here, absolutely. And everybody you know is several everybody's members. welcome here. Right. Yeah. So you I know you do some work here. Well, like I said, I assist uh people finding places to stay. Yeah. I actually I'm partnered with Sandra Gonzalez, who's a licensed realtor here. Mm -hmm. Sandra was the project manager for the Mykonos Tory Day project. Okay. And I also work with Stump as yeah. well. Yeah. Good. So yeah, but I do that at my leisure. Yeah. Uh, it's not a thing where I have to do what I do because I was a realtor in the States as well. I forgot to mention that. Okay. So in addition to working in the legal profession, I also was a licensed realtor. So it's in your blood. So it's right? in my blood. Yeah. Absolutely. It's funny because my broker said, uh, I actually sold the house a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And she said, I knew it was only going to be a matter of time before you got in the, into the business. So, yeah. But like I said, it's at my leisure. You're in this area here. Is this considered barbecue? This is barbecue. Yes. yes. Barbecue. Restaurant Roll is right out here. Right. Go further down. Where do you guys? Do you go out and eat out a lot? Or we eat. Yeah, we eat out pretty. Yeah. We eat out we fairly, eat fairly regularly. Fairly, fairly regularly. But we cook too. Do you? Yeah. yeah, but we eat out a lot. What do you cook? Well, we cook we cook a lot of seafood. Yeah. We get a lot of seafood. <laughs> yeah. We get a lot of seafood. Wonder why? From, yeah, I wonder why. Yeah. Wonder why? Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have a seafood platter that I have for lunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you yeah. know. But the first time we went to Quito, we rode the bus. We, yeah, we okay. that, yeah, that was that and was. And I rough. think that was part of it. Yeah. No, 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 no never, way. I'll never do that again. No way. No. A lot way. of people ask about that. They yeah. say, "What's well, you know, take a driver or take a bus." You don't want to ride, ride a bus. I don't. I do not recommend it. It is a long ride. Right. And I'm going to tell you, back in February for our anniversary, mm -hmm. we went to Tonsupa in Esmeraldas, oh, yeah. Yeah. and we took a car. Yeah. Six hours. Six hours. Yeah. It like to kill us. Oh my. So. Now, do you have a car now? No. No, no okay. car. Don't you walk. get around by taxi. You get around and by walk. taxi and, and walk. walk. And walk. Yeah. And the city buses are the number twelve runs out here now. It is stopped. Where do you take it? We can catch it right out here on the street, okay. right across so the where street. Where do you go? You can go, go to the mall, Me Mega Maxi, Mega Maxi or it goes all the way down to Central. Okay. It goes all the way down to Central. You guys aren't old enough to get the senior discount yet. Oh, right? yes, we uh, are. I hope it wasn't, but we, we are. are. You are? Yeah. You know, are. Like yeah, we are. We, we are. We get the senior discount. We get the senior you know, discount. Both of them? Yes. Yes. We're old. Yeah, we're old. <laughs> no, I don't know. That, no, that's what I was saying, that it was time for us when we looked at retirement yeah. and Coming to Mazda, even after the earthquake, we said we're coming. We didn't yeah. care. And they treat senior citizens so well here. Yeah. So they do. They do. They really treat us well. So, uh, so you have a family doctor. You got a dentist. Yes. Yes. And doctor top dental. Yes. You know? Yes. And so you're well established. You're just going to stay here forever. Or yeah. We're, we're no? going to. Well, we're, as it is. We're in. We're in. We're all in. We're in. So, if you have one piece of advice that you'd give to somebody that wants to come here, you can think of something right off the top of your head. What's the most important thing you want to tell somebody that wants to come here? Well, do your research, even within the country of Ecuador, because every place is not for everybody. Right. right. Some people prefer Selena. Some people prefer. I have. I even have African American friends that they love Mike. Right. Quank is too chilly for us, mm -hmm. but they love it. Right. So do your research and determine what it is you're looking for. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's my biggest advice, sure. is do your research. What is it that you like to do? Yeah. If you like hiking, if you want to be in the mountains, if you want to, you know, hike volcanoes, find out where those places are. Yeah. And if you can those. avoid it. Try not to be no more than two hours away from the airport. Yeah, that's when you a start thing. riding yeah. three hours or more to get to the airport or to try to get out of Ecuador, I, yeah. I think it gets a little old. Yeah. yeah, it does. We just decided we're never going to fly out of Guayaquil again. That yeah. three and a half hour ride. Well, we, we did it for four years. <laughs> we did it for a long time. But we just finally took the plane to Quito yeah. and we said never again. Can't I'll never fly out of Guayaquil again. Oh, no. Do you have any kids? Yeah, we have kids. So we have a son kids. here and, and a daughter-in-law and so two grandkids. Right? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, two grandsons and one on the way. And then we also have children in the States. We have a son and another son and a daughter in the States. They and other grandchildren. They, they haven't yet, but yet. we're waiting on them. They're, they're, they're no, they haven't yet. Have you ever planned to take a visit back to the States, or have you? Yes, we were in the States in February. We okay. took a short, yeah. quick trip. Yeah. yeah, we were in the States in February. A quick trip. Like a weekend. It was 48 hours. We were there for 48 really? hours. That, yeah, we, were, we left on a Friday, back on a Sunday. Yeah. And then last year we were there oh, for several weeks. Flying. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we, we were there last year. Yeah. Unfortunately, I had a, a family member that passed away. Oh. So we were there for a while for that. And uh, and that's really that's about it. it. Yeah. So, but we we told everybody this time, this is it. Yeah. You're gonna have to come see us. So right. we're done yeah. with the travel yeah. back yeah. to the States. So your place here, you're renting or did you buy it? We're renting. 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 Okay. We're renting. Uh, what, what is your advice to people when in terms of renting versus buying when you come here? Do you, I tell people, Come here and rent for six months at least. I do that. Maybe a year. You know? I recommend that everybody rent first too. Yeah. Because first of all, you don't know what kind of neighbors you're going to get. You may right. have a neighbor that parties all night long, every day of the week. Yeah. And if you bought, you're kind of stuck. Yeah, you're stuck. If you're renting, you know, you can, you can, you can leave. Yeah. I, I think for single people, uh, I mean, you could rent uh, relatively inexpensive. Um, I don't see a whole need to spend $1,500 a month down here just for mm -hmm. rent. 
Yeah. Uh, you, you can, can, you can get your nice place for eight nine hundred dollars a month. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, but you with a view, with, with the view, with the view. I have played several single women mm -hmm. in oceanfront apartments since yeah. I've been here. Yeah, uh, and yeah, for very reasonable, nominal rates. Yeah. Right, oceanfront. That's great. Yeah. So That's great. It's doable. It's well, doable. it's certainly been a pleasure meeting you. I've heard your name mentioned so many times. You Thank know. you so much for and having me. I ran into you at La Quadra. Right. Right. First right. time, but I already knew who you were. Right. You know, because we, we have common friends. So right, right. That's one thing about the expat community here. It's a small family. It right. is. It's tight knit. Everybody right. knows a little bit. It's kind of like being right. in a small town. Right. You know? It's funny you should say that. Our son, who's been here eight years, said, Y'all know more people than we know. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I think Monta is a good retirement location. Can't beat it. Uh, Wait for another five, ten years. Look at the development. It's oh, it's booming. Bad. It's booming. Bad. It's really booming. Five years. Look, we came, we've been here four years, and half of Barber Skill wasn't even completed yeah. at the oh, time okay. we got here. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing stuff down here that wasn't here a year ago. Yeah, yeah. Like, La Quadra, oh La Quadra yeah. wasn't here. La Quadra uh, was being built when we got here. A lot of this stuff, and the building we're in is only, what, seven, seven years old? Yeah. Years old. Yeah. yeah, this is only seven years old, so we've been here four. Yeah. So, a lot of this stuff. is a nice building. Yeah, it's a very nice. First building. time I've seen it. It's really nice. It's quiet. Um, they do a really good job. And the management, very is clean, management. and the management of the building. Got a friendly guard out front. Oh yeah, very nice people. All uh, twenty four hours. Yeah, twenty four yeah. hour security. Yeah. We have them where I live. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, you feel secure. Yeah, I do. I feel, I feel secure. Feel safe. Yeah, and I, and you know, since we're talking, this one thing I would say sure. that when you would go to these uh, locations like in Puerto Lopez or something, and you build a house, you got to remember you got to have security or somebody to watch your house while you're out of town. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Monta again is probably the number one place I would look at first. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop there. Is it okay to mention in the description that you? like to assist with rental yes and, yes and we'll put your you have a whatsapp i have a whatsapp i don't suggest a whatsapp number but i'll put you have an email address i have an email address and a whatsapp we'll put that in okay you, i'll give you the email address can contact you and okay talk to you. people uh from the african-american community right. will probably wouldn't want to touch the base with you okay right. which would be perfect i That'd think this perfect. is a great opportunity for Everybody. And, tell, so and tell all you federal employees and retirees to come on down. Come this, on is down. The, this is the best place to be, I'm <laughs> telling you. Absolutely. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.